Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make something colder than ice by just using ice. So pure water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. So that means if you have a mixture of ice water like I have here, it's always going to be at the temperature of zero degrees Celsius, not higher or lower. For example, if I heat it up a little bit, I'm not actually going to raise the temperature, but what's going to happen is I'm just going to melt the ice. So any heat that I add to it is just going to go into melting ice. The temperature is still going to stay at exactly zero degrees Celsius. Also, if I cool it down anymore, if I remove heat from the ice water, then I'm still not going to change the temperature. I'm just going to turn some of that liquid water into ice. And so I can't change the temperature of ice water, of pure water. Okay, but now let's take some of this ice water without ice in it. So we're at 1.4 degrees Celsius, so the water has warmed up a little bit. But now watch what happens when we put calcium chloride in it. One point five degrees, one point six, stir it around. So three point five degrees Celsius right now. So by putting in the calcium chloride, we heated up our water. That's because when calcium chloride dissolves in water, it's exothermic. So it actually releases heat. So there you go, by putting in the calcium chloride, we had an increase of about three degrees Celsius. So now let's do this again, except this time let's leave some ice in here. So my ice water's at zero degrees Celsius. Pure water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. So I would expect that the coldest that I can make this solution is zero degrees Celsius. So let's see what happens now when I add ice in here. So the temperature is going down, understandably, because we just added ice. So of course the temperature is going down, but we wouldn't expect it to get colder than the original solution of ice here. Okay, it's getting colder than zero degrees. Okay, so look at this, negative 1.2 degrees Celsius. So somehow just by adding ice into water of a solution of calcium chloride, I got a colder temperature than either of them were to start with. In fact, you can even get it so cold, if you use a lot of calcium chloride, you can get it so cold that it becomes cold enough on the outside of the glass just from the water that condensed from the air on the outside of the glass, you can actually get ice to form. So somehow by putting calcium chloride in a solution of water and ice, which we showed already that is an exothermic process when it dissolves in water. Somehow when we put it in water and ice, it made that solution colder than ice itself. So what's going on here? How can the calcium chloride in one case increase the temperature, but in the other case decrease the temperature? The only difference between them is we had ice chunks in one of them. The reason has to do with the long time notion that salt melts ice. Well, the thing is, salt doesn't really melt ice at all. It dissolves it. And there's a big difference between the two. If you say that something melts ice, it means that you're adding heat to it. So when you add heat to ice, you're melting it. But when you're putting salt on ice, you're dissolving it. And the reason it's so important to delineate the difference between melting and dissolving ice is because of what just happened here. For example, if I just took this beaker of ice water and I heated it up, it wouldn't change temperature until all of the ice had melted. So I could melt the ice by heating it. But if I put calcium chloride in here, I could dissolve the ice and it would turn into liquid water, but I wouldn't be adding any heat. And in fact, in doing that, I would actually decrease the temperature. The reason that it makes it colder is because when solid ice turns to liquid water, that's an endothermic process so it absorbs heat from its surroundings. So when you dissolve ice, when you're turning it from solid water to liquid water, it absorbs energy. And so it actually decreases the temperature. And that doesn't happen in normal melting because in normal melting, you're adding heat, but then that heat is just going into absorbing into the ice. And so you never actually get a decrease in temperature. But when you add salt in, you're not actually adding heat. And so the ice can just absorb that heat and decrease the temperature. 
Now the reason that salt water dissolves ice is because the ice is pure water, but then the water around it has the salt in it, and so there's actually a lower concentration of water because of all the salt ions in there. So that means that the ice actually has a higher concentration of water than the salt water around it. So it basically is due to a concentration gradient of pure water to less pure water. So it wants to push some of the pure water into the less pure water to try to make it equilibrate together. What that means is that whenever you have any contaminant in liquid water around ice, the ice is going to want to dissolve into that mixture. And when it dissolves into it, it absorbs heat and so it lowers the temperature. So that means that we don't need calcium chloride to do this, we actually need anything. So that should mean if we have some ice and pour cold soda in it, that soda should suddenly dissolve the ice, and because ice dissolving is endothermic, it's gonna make that solution even colder than the ice itself. Well, let's try it. So right now I just have some ice in a beaker here. Right now it's reading negative 0.5 degrees Celsius. This might not be exactly pure water, that's why it's a little bit below uh, zero degrees Celsius here. But now watch what happens when I add soda. So it warmed up a bit here, but now watch what happens. So it's actually getting colder than it was to start with. So by adding soda, I made it colder than it, when it was just pure ice. Look at that, it's going to negative one degree Celsius. So somehow, just by adding soda to the ice water, it made the ice water colder than freezing. So you can see that when you pour soda in a cup of ice, the solution is actually going to get colder than either of them were to start with. That's because when the solid ice dissolves into the liquid soda, it's actually an endothermic process, so it's absorbing heat and lowers the whole temperature. So now to tie this all together and make sure I haven't confused anyone. First, whenever you have solid ice, if you put that ice in some solution that is less pure than the water in the ice, that ice is going to dissolve. And when it dissolves, it's going to decrease the temperature of the solution. It's endothermic. So let's say that there's ice on your driveway outside and you use some calcium chloride to go melt that ice. What you really mean is that you're going to dissolve the ice. So you go take your calcium chloride tablets and you go throw them on your driveway. Well, the ice that's out there isn't actually solid ice. On the surface of all of the ice is liquid water. And that liquid water is going to get some of that calcium chloride in it and the calcium chloride is going to dissolve into it. So first it's going to heat up that water a little bit. So that's going to melt the ice just to do to pure heat. But then also what's going to happen is once it's dissolved, it's also going to make the solid ice dissolve into it. So it's going to dissolve solid ice into liquid water, and that's an endothermic process, and so it's going to decrease the temperature. In fact, it's gonna make it even colder than it was to start with, but you're gonna end up with less ice. So overall, it just looks like you threw some calcium chloride pellets out there and you melted the ice on your driveway. But what you mean is that you ended up with less solid ice. Now, if you want to do this experiment for yourself, but you don't have calcium chloride, you can also try sodium chloride, just regular table salt. But the difference between the two is calcium chloride is exothermic. When you put it in water, it will increase in temperature, but sodium chloride is endothermic, so it will actually decrease the temperature. So when you put sodium chloride in water, it will decrease the temperature, calcium chloride will increase in it. So calcium chloride melts ice faster because it also is exothermic when it dissolves in, and it also can dissolve ice better. Whereas sodium chloride is endothermic when you dissolve it in water, so that makes it colder, but then it also doesn't dissolve ice as much. And thanks again for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.